<sighs> it is too early for this shit. Hello world, I am Brancliffe. Alright, let's talk. So, I remember I talked about this on yesterday's video. A few days ago, they, they did this thing, and it was like... Hey, check this out in a few days, and they had a picture of all the L Masters and Adrian. And they didn't explain what that meant, and now we know what that meant, and I'm kind of annoyed. So, the idea was that they had this big international L Sword tournament in Korea. I didn't watch it, I don't know who won, I don't care, I don't watch L Sword content. Uh, although I did hear there was a Rune Master there who was carrying Mega Slash, so uh, you know what, maybe it would have been worth watching. Whatever the case, at the end of the tournament, they decided to uh, drop two big bombshells on us, and they shared this with the Elsword KR YouTube channel, so we, we know what's going on. Uh, the first one doesn't matter, it's uh, more Elstar stuff, I think. Uh, they did this promotional video where they just had a clip show of the previous uh, L-Star things. And at the very end of it, they, they zoomed in on L-Sword's dick for some reason. I don't know what that's about. But, uh, I mean, at least it shows they care about Trinity Ace, but I, I don't know what that entails. I, I think what's more interesting, and everybody's probably wondering, the thing I'm showing on screen right now, what the heck is this? So, I, I want to give a shout out to YouTube user OneDarX who somehow predicted this. Uh, he said, Transcendence 2, the Transcendence. And yeah, uh, you like Transcendence so much? Well, apparently we're getting that again. So, this is called Masterclass. And the reason why it's being tied to Transcendence is the idea with Transcendence is that. They wanted to expand on the classes without making new classes. When you want to make a new class like first job, second job, third job, you need to make a new design, you need to make new art, you need to make new skills and combos. Because we're still using the same designs for third jobs that we've had for a while, it's not fourth job. So we're, we're, we're getting job three and a half, I guess. Thank you, Madoka Musume. Just call it fifth job. Well, we're just gonna skip for well, no cuz see then Transcendence would be third job then third job would be fourth job see okay Here's my here's why I'm annoyed with this right well actually there's two reasons so the first one is I, I think the idea with designing Transcendence was they wanted to make something new But then not make it third job, but then they just made third job anyway So I just say why not just instead of making Transcendence have that be third job and then have third job be fourth job, and then have this be fifth job. What is the point of giving it a different name? Uh, it's also kind of annoying when like these companies keep overusing words that they don't know what they mean, but they just think it sounds cool, so they just keep using it. <laughs> it, it it's like when guilds in the EU server have like English words that, oh, we don't know what it means, but it sounds cool, so we used it. <laughs> It, it's like when, um, uh, on my Elrian talk about Elsword EU, oh, well, we named this guild uh, Perfection because it sounded cool. It's, sometimes these companies will overuse these words, like, you know, the word Transcendence, like, Korea loves the word Transcendence, right? Like, oh, okay, so imagine this, right? Imagine a Demonio player, and he's not third job yet, but he's Transcendent, so he's... Transcendent second job, right? And then he uses the skill Transcendence. And then imagine he's wearing the Transcendent Time and Space set on top of that? God, I hate this company sometimes. Uh, the second reason that this bothers me is the video that they used to promote this only used classes I don't like. Now that just bothers me on an individual level, but do you ever just feel like the, the world just has it out for you sometimes? Because that's how I feel right now. Like, I, I know I've probably said this already, but like, I don't even want to be here. The only reason I'm here is because uh, my viewers pretend that they only use YouTube for Elsword and nothing else, so they're not willing to give anything else like try a try. But like, so they used uh, Labby the Hedgehog and Shakti, and no one else. Like, like, God forbid you use your main character. No, that would make too much sense. Which, by the way, about that, right? So if we're calling this Masterclass, right? And maybe I shouldn't be too annoyed with that. I mean, they call, like, 
the new second job in Maple Story 2 Master Awakening. But okay, think about this for a second, right? Now everybody knows Rune Master is oppressed. He's had it really bad for forever. He's pretty much never been a good class. Oh, okay. I imagine you're a Rune Master main, right? So what are they gonna call you when you get your job advancement? Mastery Rune Master? Like Rune Master Mastery? <laughs> what are they gonna call this? And see, it's kind of weird because I feel like Mastery is not as cool of a name as Transcend. It's like, I thought the idea with Transcendence was that like, oh, you've become so powerful, you're not a mere mortal anymore, uh, you've transcended the limits of humanity, except, well, I mean, the, the classes and characters that aren't human, whatever, that doesn't matter. So, like, what, I feel like we got a worse name. And see, it's funny that I bring up Rune Master because I feel Rune Master embodies the idea of having a downgraded name on top of that. Like, I feel like Rune Slayer is a cooler class name than Rune Master. So, really, this class's naming scheme just goes from cool to less cool over time. From Rune Slayer to Transcendent Rune Slayer to Rune Master to Master Rune Master? <laughs> I don't know. Now, it, it's kind of funny because, like, it, everybody in the comment section for this video was like real disappointed, but I mean, you know, people are always disappointed with everything KOG does, nobody ever cuts them any slack. But like, this could be anything. I feel like this could be a good opportunity to try to salvage some things. Uh, I don't know if they actually would, but like, I mean really think about this for a second, right? So Transcendence was three new skills and three new passives, although one of the passive was just the same across all Transcendent everythings. Uh, third job was one passive, no, no, one hyperactive, and then two passives. So this could be anything. Uh, let's see, Biscuit Mite says, um, let's see, some people call it Reboot Part 2 since some thought the reboot was lacking in stuff. Well, you know what, I could definitely agree with that. And that was coming from uh, the Chung main that stole all of the Rose and Lu buffs, and they're just like, hey, you know those buffs you got? Mmm, yeah, but what if... Okay, hear me out. What if they were actually mine? <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I can entirely get with the idea of them wanting to do something on top of Reboot because Reboot was kind of weak. Although, Reboot wasn't weak for everyone, it just kind of was for most people. <laughs> okay, let's see. Andre says, you know what's weird about this concept? Third job is unlocked at level 99 at the cap level. So what's required to unlock the master's class? Oh, that could be anything. So yeah, so, um, work. You guys are gonna have to do work. So, look forward to that. Uh, now, generally speaking, job advancements are $6. I recently won $6 in one of the Elsard uh, livestream giveaways, so, I mean, I can buy this as soon as it drops in my region. And I'm probably going to need to in order to be like, hey, hey, look at all this stuff. But then again, by the time it's out in my region, everybody in Korea will have already shown up what it's like, so I guess, I don't know, do I really need to show up what it's like? <laughs> I'm held back by refusing to have a Korean account. Oh, cool, we have a Babel page for this now. It's a master class for one skill to power up in four stages, too. Okay, so, um, now the page on Babel for this is really short. Normally, I'd bust out the screen recorder and talk about it, but I actually don't think I need to because this is a really short page. Let's see, Tuna Fish says, Master Class Update. Obtain skill that gets stronger over four stages. Aura and Labby Master Class Update in 1219. Other Master Class will be updated throughout the Winter Update. So what you're telling me <laughs> is that Labby and Aura get their updates before everyone else. God, I hate this game so fucking much. Why am I here? Why am I still here? You know, people ask me that all the time. Brianna, why do you make videos about this game if you don't play anymore? I'm here because nothing else I try on YouTube actually gets any traction because my viewers like to pretend that they only use YouTuber Elzer and nothing else. You see what I put up with? You see what kind of things I have to deal with in order to get these views on YouTube? You think I like doing this? You think I'm here for fun? God, I fucking hate this game. 
All right, seven new dungeons, artifact system, third job story, quest portraits, 28 comments that I'm not going to read. Okay, let's, now let's really talk about this, right? So it says, obtain skill that gets stronger over four stages. Now, I know that English is the language that uses plurals and most other languages try to not do that because it's confusing. Now, when they say obtain skill, do they mean one skill? We get one skill? Okay, 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 third job, right? Third job was three skills at the very least. And then those mod skills that whether those are new skills or not, or how much of a new skill that is, that's up to you to decide. So we get a third of that. Alright, so I got a uh, picture from one of my viewers, and um, now this might be my, uh, my uncle works at Nintendo stuff, but uh, here's what it says. I'm I, I, I'm not gonna put it on screen, but here's what it says. It says, uh, Gaia has Ara and Labby on the 19th, Rosso has Elysis and Luciel on January 2nd, Ventus has Reyna and Rose on uh, January 16th, Denif has Chung and Aisha on January 30th, Adrian has added Eve on February 13th, Solace has Elsword and Raven on February 27th, Hernia has Ayn on March 12th, which means that some of you guys might have to wait three months to find out what this is like. You know, I understand what they're doing with this stuff, the idea of like, well, maybe we should space out these things a few weeks so that we don't drop too much at once and then people get confused. And I get it, but like, why is it that they have to make us wait one week per character? I don't like this. I don't, I don't, I don't like this. <sighs> Do you guys know how much fun I'm not having right now? Do you guys think I do this for fun? <laughs> like, you know, I always get the question, like, oh, Brian, why do you do this? You don't play this game anymore. You know, this is my job. Do you, th do you think I like my job? <laughs> I get paid for this. Do you think I enjoy doing this? I don't enjoy doing this. Okay, you know, I feel like maybe, you know, you know oh, okay, earlier I was talking, like, you know how the world just hates people sometimes it just like singles out one individual per like fuck this one individual person in particular you ever see those pictures of like lightning striking something very specific god you know what this video is over all right i'm brancliffe goodbye everyone